So some of you may recognise uh, this photo <clears throat> as one be, uh, belonging to Barry that he submitted um, earlier in the year. When this first came up, I thought, oh, this is so close to being a good photo. And really, there's, there's two problems with it. One problem that the judge picked up on, in fact, I think the judge picked up on both of them, is that this area of, I don't know whether this is mud or beach or whatever it is down here, in the um, bottom right-hand corner, is disconnected from this area up here and the top left-hand corner. Because it, you, you can't, it's not connected because it's blocked by this little bit of sea reader here or the, the groin over there. And it needs to be connected. The other issue with this photo is that it's, it, needs, it needs more contrast. So I'm going to fix this. I'm going to duplicate this layer so um, you know we can do a before and after. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to connect up this this area here on the uh, right to this area here on the left, and we'll do this with the clone stamp tool. And what I want to do is just clone out this little bit of seaweed. Let me zoom in. This little bit of seaweed just here. So we'll just make my clone brush tool a little bit smaller. I'm just going to sample somewhere else up there and then we'll just paint in thus. Now the, what I've done here is I've used a clone tool with a soft edge which is how you would normally do it but what it's done here is it's made the edge of the, the seaweed let me just uh, choose this it's made the edge of the seaweed here I, I believe this is seaweed, look a little bit sort of fuzzy and soft. So that's not really going to work. So we'll undo that clone tool and what we'll do is we'll clone this again but this time I'm going to bring my hardness up. Now I'm going to bring it all the way up. You might choose to go to somewhere in between. There's no reason why you have to go all the way. And again we'll just sample and this time I'm just going to paint in there and that looks much better and while I'm here I'm just going to do something about this area here which looks a bit odd so we'll just just clone that out as well and let's zoom out there we go we have now connected this area here to that area there and I think that looks much more convincing then to finish this off, I'm just going to add a brightness and contrast la adjustment layer. We'll attach it to the one below. And I'm just going to pull the contrast up. Put it up to suit something around, I don't know, if we can go all the way up to somewhere like that. And that has that would be the image that I might have submitted. Let's have a look, look and see what it looked like before. And that's what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. I think that's a much more compelling photo. We could go a step further with this. If I create um, a new stamp, a new layer, by using the uh, magic handshake, Control, Alt, Shift, and E, there's no menu option for that. So it's something you need, you would need to remember. And I'm going to use the new object selection tool in Photoshop and I'm going to select the boat that has selected the boat and then we'll go to edit and free transform and I'm just going to drag the boat down like that we'll accept this then on the select menu we'll inverse the selection so I've now selected the background and now I can use my clone stamp tool and I'm not going to do the whole thing but you'll get the idea and we can now just start wiping out the boat and it will preserve what is selected. Might make the brush a little bit bigger. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing um, I'll leave that for 
for you guys to to play around with but you get the idea and what this will do is that this will make the uh, give us even more space around the edge of the the edge of the boat as I say I'm not going to do the whole thing I'll leave leave that to to the viewer And that's really all I would do to this particular photo.